honored a former member of a Nazi unit this way. Hunka, seen at this Ukrainian rally last year, is from Rhoda's riding. The speaker says it was his decision alone to invite the SS veteran. That you're taking responsibility because this was your um, initiative and you have confirmed that neither the government of Canada nor the Ukrainian delegation had any prior knowledge to this individual being invited to the House or that he would be recognized. It was an honest mistake. I believe that it was an honest mistake. I don't. Meanwhile, I want to show you how embarrassing this really is because as they were trying to deny, as they were trying to deny that uh, this was a government decision, right? They're trying, they're trying to say that it was just Rhoda who didn't know, right? That this was some kind of freak accident that uh, they, they had no control over. Well, DD Geopolitics once again busts, bursts, you know, bursts this bubble. Well, this is awkward. The Speaker of the Canadian Parliament barely had time to take full responsibility for inviting SS veteran Yaroslav Hunka, saying Trudeau and Zelensky had nothing to do with it. When reporters found a Friday post from his, the granddaughter, actually, it's the daughter-in-law of the Nazi Teresa Hunka. Dato is waiting in the reception hall for Trudeau and Zelensky, the caption says. It would seem that these two not only applauded him in the parliament, but also had a personal meeting with him. And here is the Facebook post, which was deleted the same day, showing him waiting for Zelensky and Trudeau. And here's the post here, Teresa Hunka. Dato is waiting in the reception hall for Trudeau and Zelensky. He is so delighted to be there. Most kind of Anthony Rota to do this. But of course, we know that if Zelensky and uh, Trudeau were going to meet, well, then that means obviously that <laughs> there was uh, more to this than just Rhoda uh, accidentally making an oopsie, okay? Uh, and again, I... <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to miss the trend here. Inviting the Nazi soldier is the speaker's mistake. Inviting a Khalistani assassin is a lawmaker's mistake. So what exactly is Justin Trudeau responsible for? At least his hairstyle, hopefully. With India, Trudeau is doing more of the same. In a few moments, I will address the House in front of all Canadians, in front of Jewish people here and around the world, and Ukrainians, to offer Parliament's unreserved apologies for what happened on Friday. The Speaker, was solely responsible for the invitation and recognition of this man and has wholly accepted that responsibility and stepped down. This was a mistake that has deeply embarrassed Parliament and Canada. All of us who were in this House on Friday regret deeply having stood and clapped, even though we did so unaware of the context. It is extremely troubling to think that this egregious error is being politicized by Russia and its supporters to provide false propaganda. It was a moment to celebrate and acknowledge the sacrifices of Ukrainians as they fight for their democracy, their freedom, their language and culture, and for peace. This is the side Canada was on in World War II, and this is the side we are on today. Ha, 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 ha.